Um, all right. Something else that uh, we wanted to talk about, as long as we're being depressed today. <laughs> talking about piles of garbage. And, and talking about, yeah, living piles of human excrement. Um, so, the, <laughs> think, how are you going to bring us into this I, one? I, this, <laughs> is, this, is a, this is a, I didn't think about this. This is a really tough, uh, uh, tough segue. Yeah. Uh, yeah, segue. That's what I was uh-huh. looking for. Um, so, at Phoenix Comic Con, I was, it, it was this past weekend, yep. um, there was a guy who fortunately was apprehended by police. Uh, and they caught him with many rounds of ammo, many knives, and throwing stars, but a lot of weapons, a lot of legit Throwing weapons. stars. Yeah. What a weeb. Genji main. Um, he came, you know, so, so okay, so Phoenix Comic Con, it's just like any other Comic Con. People come dressed up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, they, they, they're in costume. They many act, of they the, act weeby. Many of those costumes contain weapons of some kind. Um, and this guy got the brilliant idea to, uh, uh, he he paint, he he like painted his face, he wore all black, painted Painted his his face black, black. a red bandana. And, and and to mention the, the, what he had specifically, he had uh, two 45 caliber handguns, uh, 454 caliber handgun, a 12 gauge shotgun fully loaded. Um, with with a with a bandolier of, of, uh, of a shotgun ammo. ammo on his uh, yeah yep and then a combat knife pepper spray and throwing and stars. throwing stars Genji mean throwing stars yep throwing throwing stars <laughs> thank you proud of a towel yep full towel yep but, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do like uh, my my Rick James moment and towel myself off here. <laughs> it's, it, this is very hard work talking to a microphone okay. He's being very emotional today, getting all of his you know thoughts and opinions out there. It, it takes a lot out of you. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the uh, the the old preacher and just kind of towel myself off here in the middle of the show. Um, the old preacher. Yeah. I'm you know, what? You've never seen an old. You've never seen like you've never been to. Uh, oh. oh, oh, oh like wait, wait, a okay. When they kind of take out like the, like the little handkerchief and yeah, they're like. Got, you've got the you've got the reverend and he's all worked up like this and he's he's just dab he's dabbing 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 at the top of his brow. Yeah. Okay. I got was you now. Racist. <laughs> No. I think that was racist. That wasn't racist. I don't know. Can you be racist against... Oh, wow. I'm... On mute. I didn't even realize my yeah. microphone was on mute that whole time. Well, it's because you were dabbing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you leave. <laughs> you get the fuck out right now. You pull a Kelly and walk away without saying anything. Hey, well, was, he, he was did have that, a reason, though. Was that a relevant... <laughs> That was correct. No, no pop it, culture reference. It no, was, I'm it not. No, it. It. no, no, I'm no, not. It, no, I'm not. I'm I, not acknowledging that. I will not acknowledge a dab you. as a current <laughs> no, re- fucking on. cultural Wait, reference. Give me a second. Give me a second because this proves something. This proves you've been fucking lazy. Because, what? <laughs> because you can still be a shitty fucking troll that derails while also being accurate timely yeah. and relevant. So step up your Fuck, fucking game. Fuck, I just game. had to admit that he was accurate. God damn it. So step up <laughs> your fucking game. Um, no. <laughs> okay. By the way, I was just doing an impression of a southern preacher. I don't know why you would uh, in- in- inject any race on top of that. But anyway, Maybe okay. So that's racist. Yeah, no, I think I think that, you yeah, that projection. one. Exactly. No, you're racist. <laughs> I'm not racist. You're racist. Racist. Ha! Anyway, Got him. anyway, anyway. Um. So yeah, this this nut job out at uh, the Phoenix Comic Con <laughs> uh, decided, hey, this is going to be a really good idea to uh, get all armed to the teeth, dress all in black, um, because of, of course, course, you know, people are uh, they won't be able to see you in broad daylight when you're dressed in black. <laughs> I'm going to hide in the shadows. It's. It, it, I think it's. I think it. A little bit more than that. Like he just figured he would blend in. Like people would think that he's, he's just in, in costume. costume. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Um, now the thing that's a little bit uh, disturbing about this story is that he was able to get past yes. several security checkpoints yes, because they did do screenings and like prop checks and weapon checks. But he was actually able to bypass. But we all, all of know. Those. We all know. Like all of us who have been to a convention or cosplayed before, that that is not like. Like, like I think that I went three days to uh, uh, to Yomacon and I never got. I don't know if Yomacon actually has like an actual procedure to where they say yes, we we straight up quote unquote screen people. Uh, well, they've they've got the combat ties that that most weapons should have. Like in theory, you should right, have but, it. Right, but think but about my, all my, the entrances. My into airsoft like, pistol should have had it, but it never did. Right, but think about all the entrances into the Renaissance Center or into Kobo. Like at what point? Is there like you know you have to go through this screening process? That 
I, your oh, I know. It creates lines. Yeah. It creates backup, and it's yeah, a pain I think in that, the ass. That, but that Phoenix Comic Con actually had like like actual like screening areas that no, but, he was able to bypass. And, and and again though, again like I'm not I'm not I'm not trying to blame Phoenix Comic Con, or I'm not trying to uh, assign any responsibility here. But what I'm saying is is that it, you know I would say that Phoenix Comic Con probably had your average security mm-hmm. for for a convention, right? And if they had your average security, then the fact that he was able to slip past checkpoints is pretty well, and, unnerving. Yeah, and, and I mean, in, in the wake of all this, they have said that they are, you know, taking steps to up it even more. On top of the fact that for the weekend, they straight up banned weapons at that point. Yeah, and I, and I think uh, Alamo City Comic Con is, I think, this weekend. And uh, they, you know, had issued a statement where, you know, because of the security concerns out at the Phoenix Comic Con, that they were going to also be banning weapons mm-hmm. from... Uh, and, and, and the thing is, and, and I, I really do wish we had Nika here because I think she would um, add a valuable perspective to this discussion but you know we've talked about this before whether or not you know full weapon bans are justified or not and i think that we largely kind of not shouted it down or 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 rejected it out of hand but i think that we were skeptical of the necessity of it and i think this story really kind of doubles back on that and goes no this is why we need that like it either either needs to be very specific attention paid to screen screenings mm-hmm. the screening process and if you can't do that responsibly you have to, you, have you have to, to. you have, you to, have to and that and and the thing is is and i know i know that there's a lot of cosplayers who would be who who would take umbrage to that mm-hmm. right like they would be really frustrated with that because a big focal point of a lot of costumes is going to be the weapon mm-hmm. naturally and um I, I think you know when you look at a situation like this and and you understand what kind of strain that ends up putting the convention under that are mostly working with volunteers as is yeah. that you know a, a, a good majority of this shit survives on enthusiasm um you know i i just i i look at that and i go okay yeah like you can't if you can't reasonably up your staff levels then yeah you're at you have to you have to call a band yeah like yeah as a safety concern i mean this could have god like like we look at this and think oh this is a scary story but this could have turned into such a huge tragedy uh a, a, Apparently, he was specifically targeting Jason David Frank, yes, the the, the Green Ranger. He had some type of uh, revenge vendetta against him. In his phone, they found uh, a reminder date, uh, kill JDF. Um, (laughs) What? Yeah. Yeah. What does he what think? Do you, he's Calendar Man from Batman or something? <laughs> like, like, you Christ. fucking low rent. Um, f- God damn like he, it! Like he put a cell phone reminder, like, "Oh, this is the day it's happening. Can't forget." Uh, and, and Are you not, really that busy? That's like you might forget. Like, oh, what? The, well, the only reason they were that the, the, they caught him is he was in communication with with some lady on Facebook, basically updating her about you know where he was, what he was doing, and 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 she was the one I think that that, that got in contact with the authorities because he was he was also saying stuff like there's a lot of police here. I'm gonna get a shootout with police. I wonder how many people I'm gonna he's, like like take out. He's, he, he was he trying claimed, to kill Mar- like he was trying to kill Jason David Frank. Yeah, the fucking you l- absolute poor excuse for a fucking killer like okay to be fair he Rita probably still has some kind of control over him and he, he's just a mole for the power now, Rangers, now, okay? now when he was arrested in question he claimed to be you he claimed low, to be you the punisher you fucking low rent mark david chapman motherfucker you what the fuck have you seen this guy have you seen the pictures of this guy what yeah. a fat motherfucker he is how the fuck was he gonna kill anyone? He's got he's got he's got he, weapons. He's got the beard growing on only his neck, all like you know Joe Dirtish. Like like he's he's a disturbing neck. Guy. I, I sort of feel like neck beard is an overused insult, <laughs> but he had more neck than beard. That's that's fair. Yeah, yeah. Well, most yeah. most people do. Though. I don't. Uh, but again, this this would have been like a fucking mall cop trying to kill somebody. And. And by the way, J- Jason David Frank is in incredible shape, right? Like, I'm pretty sure that this guy would have tried to throw one of these throwing stars. It would have gone absolutely nowhere, right? Hit like himself in the foot. R- yeah, or like, uh, I'm sure that he would have tried to do it at a panel, so it probably would have ended up sticking out of the, you know, some guy's arm, and uh, and and he would have gotten too st- like he would have thrown the first one, been out of breath trying to figure out how to get the gun out. And Jason David Frank would have leapt over the table and beat the living Christ out of him. 
That's what I would have loved to see. Like well, if, if yeah, the doy. If that if that had played out, like if they had if if if, if police hadn't gotten involved, and thank God no one was hurt. Yeah, like, yeah, they th- were able to track him down before he got anywhere near Jason's David Frank. Uh, he was up like, on like who, that. Who fucking realized? Like, like the thing is, and, and this is the thing that I think I'm a little bit disturbed by. Who made the realization that he was carrying real weapons and? alerted the authorities because if i had seen him right mm-hmm. i would have i would have done what i think 99 percent of everyone else did and what he was counting on everyone to do is go oh well that dude's just in costume fuck it like yeah. and just overlook him well like i said i, I believe that, that that the person that he was in contact with got a hold of authorities they were able to track him down oh yeah. so it was someone like that knew that this guy was off yeah yeah like all day he had been sending the messages on thank Facebook. fucking god right like, like how often does thank how god. often does a tragedy happen and then Afterwards, oh they find all God. this evidence, and yeah. it's like I wish somebody would have said something. Thank, f- oh, I thought, th- I Christ. thought that he was just kidding. I didn't think he actually, you know, would go through with something like this. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. He showed me the notebooks like three times, and I mean, like every time they got more detailed. But I just thought it was like yeah. a fun, like yeah. role playing thing well, that he was. Okay, doing. so so again, he he had mentioned or, or he had claimed that he was the Punisher, and that it wasn't, you know, he was hoping to get. Oh it. my God! <laughs> Hold on. He he, he oh. was hoping. Oh, no! He was hoping to get into this gets a, so much worse. a big standoff with the police, and he actually claimed that he knows the oh, difference no. between police that are corrupt and people who aren't. <laughs> like, like he can spot them. Like he can look at you and tell if you're a good police or a bad police. That is the Punisher's superpower. I think even That's the real. Punisher actually looks for evidence. Uh, like, like he has to see. Okay, yeah, you're. you're he's you're not a criminal. Batman. Okay. <laughs> He's not a detective. He's a punisher. He punishes people. You fat piece of shit. Yep. He actually thought he was going to do something. Like, the fact that he thought he was going to do something. It's better. It's better. He, he, it can't. Robbie, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> it can't. It does. It do- no. It does. I, I ref- Calm yourself. I Calm yourself. I refuse to believe Breathe. this. Breathe. He what? claims 15 years earlier, he stabbed Jason David Frank. And he was coming back to finish the job. That event never happened. <laughs> he never stabbed Jason David Frank. He's never met Jason David Frank. If you stab Jason David Frank and you don't finish the job, he puts you in the hospital, okay? I- what the hell is going on? So he he, he has created in you his know- head a world where he stabbed the Green Ranger, was foiled, somehow didn't go to jail or something, and now 15 years later he's coming back to exact his revenge. Well, you don't put the Punisher in jail. You know who I feel bad for? Jason David Frank, because he's got to be sitting there going, "What? Like, like, on if you're Jason David Frank, right? And you, you're just you're at Phoenix Comic Con, right? You're going to talk about your experience being someone, the Green Ranger. Someone comes up, to you're you. collecting a paycheck, right? Uh-huh. And then, and then you hear about this, like this this armed guy that they take down. You know, like, oh shit, that's crazy, right? Like, and then, like, and 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 maybe you even see him, right? Like, maybe you even see who the guy is." And you're like, wow, that guy must be really fucking crazy. You have no attachment to the person whatsoever. Yeah. And then later, you find out, like maybe an hour later, maybe two hours later, that he was there to kill you. (laughs) And that he thought that he had stabbed you 15 years earlier. Like the mind fuck that must go on in that moment where you're like, did I get stabbed 15 years ago? I don't remember <laughs> getting stabbed 15 years ago. Chris who, got stabbed who a is few this years guy? ago. Who is this yeah. guy I've never seen before in my life? Why the fuck was he trying to kill me of all people? I haven't done anything relevant since I beat the shit out of Screech. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? What? What? What, what a, Jason what, David Frank? What the fuck did I do? Like what that must have that, that would have been my reaction. Like I, I don't think I'd leave look, the house look, anymore. Look, there are a lot of people like 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 I don't want to say washed up or has been celebrities, but there's a lot of celebrities that 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 go to these type of stuff. And look, not every celebrity out there is a good person. Some of them are douchebags, but they're doing it to collect checks, right? Sure. So I feel like there could have been some celebrities. JDF is not that, by the way. Right. No, well, not I, at all. I, yeah, I, he's I did, a fucking national treasure. Dude, as far I got as I'm to. I, I did. I got to meet that guy down at Alamo City oh, last you year. Did, I did, didn't you? I got to ride a shuttle with him, and he's a fucking. <gasps> you didn't tell me that. He you is, rode you his shuttle. Him. He is a nice, nice guy. Like just a genuine, like nice guy. Yeah. He, like he was asking questions to me and Jen. Like, like, look. If if Tom Cruise, so cool. If like, Tom Cruise was at a comic con for like the mummy and it's like oh yeah someone tried to kill tom cruise i get it 
<laughs> he's a, he, he comes off as a dick. I've heard a lot of dickish things about him, right? It's terrible. Scientologist. I hope it doesn't help, but I get it. <laughs> if, if, honestly, if Tom, if, Tom Cruise, if Tom Cruise gets murdered at this point, it is going to be the church, the church of Scientology that yeah. does it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But Jason David Frank, like, come on. He has never hurt... Uh, well, again, he hurt Screech, and the, but everyone was okay with that. Like, <laughs> Wait, you, what? He, Oh, it, it, he did. Uh, he did the celebrity boxing match. It was oh, him and Dustin oh, okay, Diamond, okay. And, and I don't even remember how that had come up. But he how just that even whooped fair? the fucking shit out who of puts, Dustin Diamond. Who puts am Screech I, up against the Green Ranger? Am I am I right on that? It's, chat chat room, correct me if I'm wrong on that. You I, punch I, I, like somebody who isn't American. I might I might be I might be misremembering. Like it, 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 unless the, unless the way that was determined was pulling names out of a hat. Like who would have no, thought like Screech versus Tommy Oliver's a fair fight? Uh, no, because I think Dustin. Diamond was shit talking Jason David Frank. Why would you do this? Because he's delusional. He's well, uh, let's let's bring this let's bring this full circle all the way back around to stabbing. I mean, Screech is Screech has some anger issues. He stabbed a guy at a bar in uh, Colorado, and it, that that is an actual court case. That is ha- that that's that is I think. If, I don't know if he went to jail or not, but like what? that is true. He did stab uh, someone. Under what circumstances would any of you go into a ring against Jason David Frank? Oh, oh, none. But I would against <laughs> give me a Dustin Diamond. Okay, so if I offered you like a million dollars, pops, you'd go in there and give it your best. A million dollars? Yeah. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Then I guess. I, I, I mean, like hon- money. honestly, I would go in a ring against Dustin Diamond because, like, what are you going to lose? Like, it, you, you're your not. Pride? No. What is he gonna? What you think he's hey, gonna? Hey, Screech is gonna lower your defense by two stages, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Pokemon reference. I know. Popular reference and pop. Uh, he did it again. <laughs> God damn it! You don't want to go to war with me. You're right, good but job. I don't want you to be. <laughs> I don't. I don't want you to be. No, Dustin. Dustin Diamond is a fucking idiot. Wow. Um, but let's get back to talking about this other. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm fat moron that decided that he wanted to try to kill Jason David Frank. Like, honestly, it, you know, like, if you're going to do some Mark David Chapman shit, you know, like, why would your target be the Green Ranger? That doesn't make sense to me. <sighs> like, you're good. Like, he's talking about, like, hey, I'm going to kill cops after this. And, like, dude, if you're if that's your hill that you're going to die on, why Jason David like, Frank? I, look, I realize this dude is delusional. He probably has some mental issues. But but even crazy people, there's a method to what's going on in their head, and I'd like to know wh- why the Green Ranger? Why the Green fucking Ranger? Well, uh, uh, did, did he stop watching before he became the White Ranger? And as the Punisher, he's like he has destroyed and compromised the sanctity of the Power Rangers, and in Zordon's name, he must die. I mean, twenty years after the fact, he does look like the kind of guy that would that would do that. I mean, I, like like someone, maybe someone needs to point out like he had a redemption arc, bro. He's okay. <laughs> Maybe he's confused with the Green Arrow who needs to die because he has killed people before. But it's just, it's so irrelevant. At least when, look, Mark David Chapman is a pathetic human being who, he, he, if you don't know, he's the guy who shot and killed John Lennon. But um, he actually, it, it, like, he picked a target that people really still, like, a lot of people would give a shit about. Like, I'm not saying that if J- Jason David Frank got killed mm, at a convention, you know, that it would, that it would you know, not be a tragedy. It absolutely would be a tragedy, but, like, He's again, if that's your hill that you're yeah. going to die on, that's, like, I mean, I'm just saying, like, it's not, you're not going to get the same news cycle out of Jason David Frank as you are... Tom Cruise? I, I... I I, I my 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 brain immediately went to Ariana Grande, and that's just not appropriate. That's just no, that's not okay. Um, Biden, let's use Biden. But, everyone but loves at Biden. least at least at least that's like a relevant target, right? Yeah. Like I, fucking a, dude. This fucking week has been so depressing. What a piece it of shit! It really sh- has, what? man. E 3s next week. I know. Or, or not not next in a week, couple of weeks. But yeah. In a couple of weeks, man. The E three news cycle. I hope it's uplifting. They better not. Un- they really need to announce an actual FF eight remake because then I would be hype on that. Yes, <laughs> idiot. Um. So, like, I guess my question is, like, what? How do con- conventions reasonably respond to this? Because oh, it, it seemed to be that like everyone was kind of operating on this, like, don't be a dick. You know, like, don't ruin this for everyone, sort of thing. And here comes some guy who ruins it for everybody. Yeah, yeah here, here comes even, here comes 
the fat version of Columbine, and you know now it ruins it for everyone. Yeah, like, even like even literally, you, this is going to ruin it for everyone. Like cosplay, every major Comic Con yes. has to respond to this. They, there's no way that you don't. Yeah. And here's the thing: look at all the different places that you have conventions. There is always multiple entrances. So even if you have a designated entrance to where you have, I don't care how long the lines are, you're checking every single prop going in. There's always going to be another entrance somewhere to get in because these conventions, you know, these centers aren't solely for the convention. There's always other stuff going on. You know, we brought up the Renaissance Center during Yomacon. There's so many ways in there. You cannot have a perfect system. No. You can't. You can't guarantee everyone's safety. There's and no if that's way. the case, then you gotta then you gotta pull the plug on it. And and I and I sympathize with it and I understand what the conv- you know the decision that the conventions are, are are having to make right now but i mean like again it's one motherfucker that ruined it for everyone for everyone yeah d- d- there's I-, I can guarantee you in 2017 and, and in 2018 there's not going to be a convention that's not affected by this yeah well i mean you you said uh alamo city alone has already responded yeah. right yeah weapon ban i assume yeah just straight up yeah and uh, you mentioned, you know, before how some cosplayers, you know, the, the the weapon sometimes isn't just the centerpiece. I mean, I saw someone who, I don't know, I can't even imagine how much money they spent on it, but they basically turned Zarya's uh, uh, particle accelerator cannon from Overwatch. Yeah. Like, this giant thing. Like, it looked like they took it right out of the game, had the lights and everything in there. Like, that's the cosplay at that point. But again, this has, been, this has been an abstract security concern that people have been like, this is going to happen, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. And they're right. Like, that's the thing, is that they've always been right. But all of us, you know, all of us on the other side have been like, oh, well, we're still a small community. We're still growing. I don't think, you know, that's an overreaction. It's going to ruin some people's enthusiasm for well, for, the, for the hobby. Remember, when, uh, two years ago when we went to Yomacon, you know, like two days before, they're like, weapons ban, right? And remember the reaction that we had to it. I don't think anybody really followed it. But our reaction was even like, you can't do that. Like, even though we understood the merits of it, it's exactly. like, you can't do that. You can't exactly. enforce that. And now that this has happened, we're just like... I'm like, fuck it, do it. Yeah. No, go ahead. Like, how is there any other choice? There isn't. There isn't. Unless you want, uh, unless you want comic cons to start being known for being unsafe environments, and you can't do that. That's a family environment. For as much as we as adults want to claim the space, I'm sorry, comic con- comic conventions and and uh, you know all of these different conventions, they're a family event. Straight up, like a uh, fine, whatever. After hours, your hentai weird bullshit goes on. I get it, but like fucking, it is at, at its core. Room shuckle fucks. At, at its core, like it's still got to remain a family event because you need to sell tickets. Like you need to sell passes. If you start seeing attendance start to go down, then this whole cottage industry that has been built out of cosplay and uh, you know in conventions and um, you know the large scale marketability of all these things that whole house of cards falls mm-hmm. all well, of it well you know in in, in um in the chat Oshihedra says that you know this was Comic Con before those have always been huge the whole small community thing is more akin to animes but I mean. That, that's still what we're pointing out, is that it happened at a Comic-Con. Had this happened at a smaller anime, would have been a big deal. Maybe not as much of a wide-ranging effect, but the fact that it happened at a Comic-Con, Alamo City is already following suit. The big question is going to be what happens at, like, you know, a New York Comic-Con or San, San Diego. Diego. San Diego. Like, San those Diego. are absolutely going to set the precedent, and in this case, chances are that even smaller ones, like anime conventions, will then follow suit. Absolutely. And I, and I guarantee you that there are people who are, you know... Maybe they haven't gotten into cosplay. Maybe they're only just getting into cosplay. They're going to look at all of the restrictions surrounding this and go, "Well, what the fuck's the point? What the? I, I can't. I can't even. Well, you know, if I'm going to be, if I'm going to, you know, if I want to do Nathan Drake, that's two mm-hmm. pistols that I want to have. You know, on the on the um, you know, uh, on the shoulder. Yeah. Holsters. What if you want to do Laura Croft without your pistols? You're yeah. just a girl with big boobs. That's still fine. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not <laughs> on, on top of this, though. You know, we we talk about the kind of impact that it has. You know, with with uh, you know conventions being family spaces. Um, this headline alone, when it comes to let's say parents who aren't as plugged in, but their kids are. Yeah. This headline alone, I can tell you right now, there are hundreds of kids out there that now they're never going to another convention. Th- think think of uh, the you know the age of like uh, 12, 13, 14, 15 years old where your parents are still making a lot of your decisions yeah. for you. Our- they're going to react to something like this and you know you don't have the autonomy in your life or you, you know you don't have a uh, uh, driver's license and so you know it, it, w- 
I, I, I think it would be really sad and detrimental to the way that the convention scene has evolved in the last couple of years if conventions started becoming like rock concerts where parents didn't want their kids going and their kids would have to sneak out or find ways to do it, right? You don't want that. Mm -mm. I don't think, you know, nobody wants that kind of situation. And so, you know, yeah, like, again, this is the kind of shit that just ruins it for fucking everyone. Yeah. God, what a depressing episode. Ugh. Boy, I picked a good one to come back. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> God, welcome, well, damn it, Pops. Welcome back. <laughs> Was I serious? Because there's a lot of serious shit yeah. going on. Yeah.